It's time now for us to check in with 35th District Representative Drew McEwen, and let's say uh, good morning to Drew. How you doing, Drew? Wonderful. Good morning, Jeff. How are you? I am doing well. Nice to talk with you and hear from you. Can you hear me okay? Yes, I can. Okay, good. We had some uh, difficulties uh, last week, but we're good now. And what's going on? What can you tell us about things going on at the legislature? Well, a little bit of movement. Um, nothing that I can uh, that I can share um, uh, that's real substantial um, at the moment. But I would I would like to just point out that there has been some significant progress on uh, coming to uh, to an overall agreement on K twelve funding, and uh, that is a positive. And again, those. Uh, those negotiations are still ongoing. I'm not actually part of that process, but I can just share with you that there's been some very positive movements on that, and I, and I think that's fantastic. Uh, and that's both sides of the political aisle that uh, that are um, working that and uh, coming to some very uh, uh, very good movement forward. So that's positive. Um, and then also the other uh, item that has occurred over the last week is the governor um, has dropped his push for a capital gains tax, which. Uh, significantly uh, alters the landscape. Um, you know that that's been one of his big uh, pushes from the get-go. And as I've said uh, a couple of times here, uh, this this whole uh, budget scenario is a repeat of two years ago. And the, the same sort of thing happened. We got to June, and the uh, the governor dropped his push for uh, for tax increases, realizing that that wasn't going to happen. And so, while he hasn't given up on all his taxes, he has removed a uh, a major component uh, to that tax platform, and that being the capital gains tax. So. Uh, Wherever, wherever one might fall in that argument, I, as I've stressed before, I'm against that. It opens the door to an income tax, but uh, wherever one might be on the argument on the capital gains tax, um, it is a, uh, in terms of resolving the overall budget, it's a positive movement and that that is a, uh, uh, a significant, uh, was a significant roadblock in the way. So um, while there haven't been any votes in the last week uh, since we last spoke, uh, there has been some, uh, some good progress going. So we are coming up on June here tomorrow, and uh, one of the things that we had talked about was uh, waiting for that June forecast. Now, does that come out early in the month, or is no, that? No, it's uh, it's towards the middle, and I don't recall the exact date, but it's towards the middle of the month. Uh, you know, and my my I suspect that the uh, um, that the key people are going to want uh, are going to want that revenue forecast, and I actually agree with uh, Senator Palumbo, uh, Democrat from the Seattle area. Uh, good friend, I work well with him. Uh, you know, and, and, and I agree with the uh, proposal that he's made, and that is we we should uh, in statute uh, uh, remove the ability to use the June forecast because all we do then is we we tread water to get that, hoping that that number is going to help bridge the gap. Right. In reality, we should just be working towards the final uh, uh, the final outcome and getting a, uh, a good solution in place. So we uh, will be uh, looking forward to, well, hopefully some more movement, but probably waiting until that forecast comes out and until, you know, obviously maybe the next couple of years you can change the way. I know you've been working hard to think about different ways to look at this. Uh, yeah. How did your uh, editorial go over as we talked about last week? Yeah, it's been, a, it's been fairly positive. And, uh, um, and again, uh, I think um, you know, I've gotten some, uh, some compliments from both sides of the aisle, and I think uh, we can make uh, some progress and um, hopefully get some uh, – uh, structural changes in the in place in the system that we can um, um, not go through this song and dance every two years. Yeah, for sure. Will we see you in the Forest Festival Parade this weekend? Yeah, looking forward to it. Be uh, be a nice uh, break from uh, uh, from the dome and. Uh, uh, always enjoy uh, Forest Fest. I'm looking forward to it. Looks like it'll be a good weekend. Yeah, it sure will. All right, Drew. Well, we'll look forward to seeing you there Saturday for the Big Paul Bunyan Parade as all part of Forest Festival. Have a good rest of your day, and uh, yeah, we'll check in in, uh, in next week. Sounds good. Thank you, Drew.